Good day, everybody. I want to quickly talk to you all today about the importance of collecting rainwater to uh, water your fruits and vegetables and your flowers and what the benefit of it is than using tap water uh, in times of drought. A lot of times when we have a real big drought period, and you know, the first thing people do is start pulling out the garden hose. So uh, now there's nothing wrong with using tap water, but if you'll get into the method of, of collecting rainwater, you'll see that, like I said, you'll get a much more benefit from the, from your plants, especially if they're in pots, you know, they really need that rainwater. Um, the reason that tap water is not as good as rainwater because it has, you know, chlorine in it and in some areas they put fluoride in it uh, and sodium to keep it from being so hard. Um, so those things can be not great for your plants. Um, you know, the rainwater has the, uh, it has more oxygen in it. It's, uh, you know, has more nitrates, you know, which nitrogen is the most important micronutrient to, to, to healthy uh, plants growing good, good dense green foliage. And uh, also, you know, rainwater it has a lower pH. So uh, it's just a good, you know, source to water your plants with. So uh, the next thing I want to do is kind of go over the different ways you can collect rainwater now it depends on your situation like me i have this you know the storage room in the back of my property it is not seen by anybody it has a big real big steep roof system on it so in periods of rain you know a lot of rain falls off of that roof at first i was going to put a, a gutter system up you know to collect the rain water and if you look online you'll see different ways to collect rain water and rain barrels you can get very advanced with it uh, there's so many ways to, to do it um, but I just you know was gonna put a, um, a gutter system up but when I set those the, I got these three 50 gallon barrels and um, when I set them under my roof line I noticed that they were filling up you know just as fast without putting a gutter up that just the rain water would fall off the roof and just fill them up anyway and I was you know I, so I started to what I did was I decided to just pull them away from my uh, storage room matter of fact i'm gonna get another 50 gall gallon barrel and put out near my garden and uh so what i decided to do is i just put the buckets under the eaves uh, i got a probably about 10 buckets i got you know three on this side i got a few in the back here um uh, and i got some on the other side and uh and i had more than that but i found out i didn't really didn't need that many um because i wasn't really using all the water because you know we get quite a bit of rain here so um uh, i decided to, to cut down on the clutter i just you know cut down on the amount of buckets I, I i started using so it is important to collect that rain water and what i started doing is just using these these 50 gallon barrels is just storage units so what i do is i got a little funnel here a little makeshift funnel and I, when those, as those barrels fill up, and I just put the little funnel on there, and I pour my water in there. And during periods of rain, like I've been using this water, that's why they kind of low now. But it finally got low. So now we're going to get some rain here. You can see got some rain clouds up here. We may get a little bit of rain today, and we're supposed to get some this week. So I'm going to show you how easy and quick it is just with these few buckets to fill these barrels up. And uh, then I got a little siphon hose that I'll show you and siphon them out now you can like i said get very um creative with collecting your rain water now if you have don't have an outside structure like i have and you want to collect it off your main home roof system and you don't want to look bad you don't have a lot of clutter then you may want to invest a little more time and and money and putting up a little small gutter system and getting a nice nice rain barrel that'll look good with your decor so it, you know and then um, collecting it that way, you will have to have a way for to handle the overflow because they will fill up real fast. So uh, just just get ready for that. Uh, but I realize everybody is not in a situation like I'm in. Uh, so this right here just works for me. Uh, there's several videos and tutorials on how to collect rainwater. If you you know, like I said, it depends on your situation. So in this situation, this works best for me, uh, and it's. It does look, look a little cluttered with buckets on the side, but like I said, it's, it's back here where you can't nobody see it. Um, so another thing is, you know, the way the way you get your water out of those those storage units. Like I mentioned, I use a, a siphoning tube, and I'll show you that in a minute. 
it's, it's very I, I ordered it on Amazon it's very inexpensive now you can buy the little spigots and uh, put it at the bottom of the barrel the little spigot hoses um, I've seen people do that the thing about the spigot hoses if you use that you're gonna need to filter your water I have a filter some kind of filter on top of your uh, bucket so you put you know clean you know water in there didn't have a lot of sediment in it because if you don't those little speakers will get clogged up and then they won't work properly or work at all but even if when they're working properly the water pressure is going to be real low it's going to kind of seep out a little bit so i just told not to worry about doing that i just use the siphoning tube tube i can just pump it out of there real fast fill up a five gallon bucket uh fill up my watering cans and then go to water in my plants uh, one other good thing about having these 50 gallon barrels is you can um you know have them strategically located throughout your property now i have a um a, a atv or uh, side by side and i can just easily take the five gallon buckets and you know pour them in the uh, rain barrels like i say i'm gonna uh, put one out by my garden uh, that is tedious but it's good to have you know extra water close by in case you, in time, like i say in times of drought when you can easily water your vegetables another good thing if you compost like, like i do you know the rain water makes such a good better compost tea than trying to use tap water to make a compost tea so if you're an average gardener and you serious about your plants serious about getting them as healthy as possible then collecting rain water is a must so um so that's the purpose of this video is to, to uh to encourage you to do that now the ways you collect rain water is going to vary so i'm not uh, really doing a video on showing you how to collect it just i want to encourage you to collect it um now these 50 gallon drums uh i got them from a local car wash so if you have a car wash in your area uh like the quick uh 10 minute car washes they get you know a lot of these barrels with full of soap for their uh to wash cars with and most places will give them away like I, they they were able to willing to give me these and uh they said if I needed more to come and get them, so I may go and get one or two other ones. But uh, you can also order them online. Uh, they're not terribly expensive. Uh, of course, you can order the ones that's for collecting rainwater. Those can get expensive. It's just your budget and how much you want to spend. The only thing, like I said, I, I just encourage you to collect rainwater. Um, now, if you do get a... 50 gallon bucket a 50 50 gallon drum from a car wash or some local supplier that, that that uses these drums to get chemicals in it's important to make sure you know what was in it before you start using it the the best thing to do is just like i said get some that where they just only been using soap or had soap stored in them because it's pretty easy to clean that soap out of them however if they've had some kind of petroleum oil in it or some kind of um the hazardous chemical you might want not want to use those uh, it can be very difficult to clean them out. Just make sure you know what was in those barrels if you do use them. All right, y'all. We had a little light rain today and filled all our buckets up, as you can see. It didn't take them long to fill up. So we're going to pour all of these in our storage barrels and set the buckets back out. And we're supposed to get some rain either later tonight or maybe tomorrow, and hopefully they'll fill up again and we'll pour them all out again. All right, y'all, as you can see, I just emptied my buckets in here. And just from that one little light rain, we got this barrel right here already filled up. So I'll set my ba my buckets back out. And as we get a little more rain, I'll start focusing on my other two barrels, filling them up. And then I should be good for a while on on, uh, on water, you know, because like I said, it, it takes me a while to start using this water out of you know, here. Try to, if you get storage barrels, if you find some or if you order some online, Make sure they come with the little tops on them, the caps, because you want to lightly, you don't want to 
sit them down tight, but you want to lightly loosen them. And then you just want to keep them kind of lightly loosened just to keep debris and anything from getting in there, you know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate real quick how I get the water back out of the barrels. Okay, this is the uh, siphoning tube I was telling you about that I ordered from Amazon. They're very inexpensive. Uh, I want to say I paid less than $20 for it. Uh, but they're designed to go on a 50 gallon bucket, 50 gallon drum, and uh, it uh, designed to screw right into that port right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we can, uh, we'll just tighten this up. Then we just, we can either go right into our watering can or into another bucket. Simple as that. Fill that watering can up. Or we can easily just put it in our bucket. Fill up our five gallon buckets. You know, if I need to water around the yard. But um but, but that's it. It's very simple. So I just, you know, take the pressure off and it'll stop coming out. And uh but that's it. Yeah, y'all. Thank y'all so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it encourages you to, to, to uh, collect rainwater in some capacity uh, because it's very, very beneficial to your plants and your vegetables uh, and your flowers. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.